Good morning everyone, welcome to Sydney Olympic Park, uh, Mark Beretta from Seven. Pleasure to be with you this morning as we relive this historic moment 20 years on from the opening ceremony of the Sydney 2000 Olympic Games. Shortly we'll be relighting the Olympic cauldron in a very special moment but first a very special acknowledgement of country. Would you please welcome John Hunter, leader of Barama, a grassroots initiative for which many years has been connecting the intertribal community of Western Sydney to this place known as Sydney Olympic Park. John. <laughs> It's a very special day, the 20th anniversary of the Sydney 2000 opening ceremony of the uh, Sydney Olympic Games. 20 years ago, we can all remember that special moment when Cathy Fruman lit the cauldron right behind me. The eyes of the world were focused on Sydney and we did not disappoint. Our games were labelled the best games ever. The games were powered by an incredible paid and volunteer workforce with more than 46,000 volunteers involved in 2000. And it, it was uh, something quite monumental um, and I think we can all be very proud of uh, the legacy that's le been left here in a physical sense and we can be very proud of the, the legacy that the Sydney Games left for our, international, for our national sports federations, uh, Olympic and Paralympic. Um, we can be proud of um, the feeling that embraced Sydney for the Games. So I had pride that they raised the standards of how to deliver a Games to an absolutely new professional high and that's now been handed on to other Games um, committees and said this is the bar and they tell me that London, given our rivalry, London chose to say well we want to beat Sydney and we're happy for them to beat that because we want to keep improving all the time. You know on days like today um, and thinking you know, what I was doing 20 years ago um, and what it was like to be here. Um, you know, that's where the, the memories start flooding back. It's pretty sad, but yes, I'm still here. I'm here almost every day, work in the park and obviously still coach and um, work with the athletes here. So it's a fantastic environment and um, I love to see it evolve and it's, yeah, it's good to be here. Now, Cathy Freeman, our hometown hero, made history at the Sydney Olympic Games. As she lit this magnificent cauldron behind us, she actually united a nation in doing so. And now, 20 years after that landmark event, she has a message for Australia. Hi, everybody. I'm sorry I can't be with you there. Um, unfortunately, level four COVID restrictions have me here in Melbourne. Um, I'm excited about these celebrations. When I reflect back on lighting the cauldron 20 years ago, the words that come to my mind are surreal and just simply magnificent. 